Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using products that I never use anymore. I have two of these videos up on my channel. I just really love this idea because if you're a makeup obsessor like me, we get a bunch of new products and then they just kind of like push everything else to the back burner. So these videos are kind of to rediscover old favorites or things. I actually have filmed this video once, but I did try out a few new products in that. I just felt like that was defeating the purpose. So here we are again. If I seem like I'm rushing, it's because I am. I have like an hour to film this video and it normally takes me like an hour and a half, two hours to film. So I'm just going to jump right in and for primer I'm going to use the e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion just because I do want kind of a controlled factor if you will. My primer and my powder I'm going to keep the same. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. Yes it's foundation but I'm not going to call this like my first time using foundation in a year because this is kind of a lighter coverage. So I'm just going to go in with my sponge and just kind of use this like my BB cream and not try and get like a lot of coverage. Just kind of even out the skin. Oh, I just got a lot. Oh, I forgot about the smell. It smells so good. This literally looks so natural. Like, I can't really see it. It didn't cover this pimple zit scab whatever you want to call it but wasn't expecting it to and then for concealer i have these two and these are both like lighter weight concealers this is the maybelline fit me concealer and this is the sephora bright future gel serum concealer i think i'm just gonna mix them this maybelline one literally burns my under eyes like i used to use this before they came out with a new shade and then I repurchased it just because of the new shade. Because this one fits me a lot better. Oh, this actually isn't burning like it normally does. So I just kind of focused the Sephora one on the inner corners. Since it is more like pinky toned. And then the more yellowy shade on the bottom to brighten. I was watching Samantha Ravindal's color theory video yesterday. So I'm like very educated on colors now. For the rest of my face, I'm just going to drag the Maybelline one. My smile lines are really bad. They don't get this bad with my BB cream or at least this fast. I'm gonna set my under eyes with my AOE Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I'm gonna set my chin and my pimple as well. I'm gonna leave my forehead blank. It looks the best when it's blank. My eyelids are creasing like really bad right now. Whenever I do my normal concealer, my eyelids don't crease that bad. But I feel like both of those concealers are so thin. So I think I want to do like a yellowy orange look on the top and then like put green on the bottom because today I'm going to be pulling out my ColourPop single shadows and I'm super excited because I used to love these shadows so we'll see if I still like them. I remember them being such like foolproof eyeshadows. I'm going to go in with Tiki. Oh, it's very powdery. I'm not sure if they have all these shades anymore but they probably have some similar ones if they don't because they have every shade on the website. This is like the palette I used to bring with me everywhere just because I obviously like picked out these shades. I think I'm going to go ahead and drag this on the bottom as well because yellow complements green. I'm going to try and do like a Raw Beauty Christie vibes where she drags it out a lot and she loves it. And I'm like, I wish I could do that since I did my face first. I can actually do that. The reason that I am filming this again is because in my other one, I tried out the new e.l.f. concealer. I'm going to go in a little with Paper Tiger to give it a little bit of depth, which is just like a mustardy color. Once again, as I said, the point of these videos is to try old products that you used to use or that you haven't touched in a while, not like new products that you haven't used. The e.l.f. concealer is so matte. It literally dries so fast and I had no idea. Whenever I did it, no one really said that. They just said, oh my goodness, this is such a full coverage concealer. I love that. I shouldn't like shoot for full coverage concealers anymore because I literally don't use foundation so it's just so obvious if I do but even Jay Kissa likes it but she also uses just like one dot and I'm going back in with paper tiger so I was just like are you kidding me and so then I had this foundation on as well so I was just like looking super cakey and I just didn't like how my makeup looked I really liked the eye look that I turned out with because I used um ColourPop Cricut single shadow because I used to love that eyeshadow and then I used like the wet and wild eyeshadow palettes I've just done so many purple looks and so this is gonna be a good change even though I just did green i didn't do that purposely for saint patrick's day it just like i literally filmed that video like a month ago i was like hey i mean might as well post it the week of saint patrick's day but then i didn't even post it until saturday because i literally had no time to edit i have so many videos filmed but i have none <laughs> edited editing takes so much more time than filming and it's so much more physically straining it just hurts my neck back shoulders and everything basically i'm gonna set this part a little more I feel like these concealers are looking a little weird. I'm gonna mix I O U and Slim Fit just so that I don't get too intense of an orange at first. My last chance makeup is purple. That's why I was like, oh, might as well refilm this. And I'm using this with a brush just so that I have a wash 
application. Now I am gonna tap it on with my finger, but I'm literally like tapping into it instead of like rubbing my finger. And I'm just gonna go in with the IOU on like the inner part. I'm just going to slump that on the outer part. That neon really comes out whenever you use it by itself. I know I should probably go in with the deepest green, but I'm gonna mix it with Checkmate just because I don't want this super olive green, which is Team Captain. But I'll probably deepen the outer corner with that. And I'm gonna take it on this E139, which is like a very precise blending brush. Checkmate didn't do too much, so now I'm just gonna go in with Checkmate and kinda blend it. And I'm gonna focus Checkmate on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take this precise brush with just Team Captain on it and wing it up because I just feel like I can't have just like green and then orange. Like I need something to connect it. I feel like this just looks <laughs> really interesting. And I'm just gonna take the brush that had the yellow on it with no extra yellow though. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the face and I'm gonna use this palette that I haven't used in so long, which is the Makeover Essential Contour Kit. I'm just gonna mix them all. I feel like I'm getting too much of a cool tone. I'm gonna bite my brush off and then blend this really well. Maybe it just looks really cool to him because my eyes are orange. Short blush. It always do you a perfect blush. It's probably been at least a month since I've used this. And I'm going to mix it with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne. Because I talked about how I liked layering these in my favorites video, but I literally haven't done it since. I haven't used a powder blush in so long. And then I'm going to go with Rosé Champagne. Wow, literally just dumped that entire brush in there. I haven't used this blush in literally so long. My cheeks look a little weird, uh, maybe because I didn't set the foundation and I haven't, like, not set this foundation before. And I'm gonna do a little bakeage. Barely any. It's just enough to give me some shapeage. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm gonna use this Flower Beauty Short Strong Highlighting Palette, but I'm just gonna use this one. Whenever I did this last time, I kind of had to, like, work with it a lot because I'm used to my Makeup Revolution ones that I can tap in 20 times and it's still, like, because it's kind of a rougher highlight, as I've said like 20 times on my channel. I don't really have to tap it off because it like really blends into the skin well. But this one is more like you need to tap it off. And my highlight really isn't popping that much. I need to use Let Me Explain. Yes, that's such a good highlight. Now there's going to be a strike. Oh yeah, I definitely forgot this was an eyeshadow. <laughs> my cupid's bow on my chin. This L'Oreal Silk Kiss in the Eyeliner in Green Ivy literally is going to go perfect with the lower lash line. For my brows, I'm going to use this LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Brunette. For my mascara, I'm just going to use my regular Maybelline Lash Sensational just because I'm not going to be wearing lashes with this look. I need my lashes to be a look on it. But I also ended up adding Game Changer, this like shimmery light green to the inner corner of the lower lash line and I think that that added a lot. It's going to make it look a lot more cohesive with the inner corner. For the inner corner, obviously, I'm going to use Let Me Explain again. As usual, I'm going to take that on the Elf Detail Crease Brush and kind of bring it up. I just like how that looks and connect it with this green on the lower lash line. For the lips, I'm going to use this Elf, the Essential Lipstick in Nostalgic. I feel like this just dabbed on my lips. It'll look really good. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of NYX lingerie like lipstick and ruffle trim. What will make this look good is Moonshine Gloss. I was really gonna try and not use it, but this is just the best gloss for anything. So here is the finished look. It's a little interesting, a little different. I do have some mascara still on the lid, but I don't got no time. Clean that off. I like all these products. Like if I did this again, I would set my whole face and I also wouldn't use the rosé champagne blush because I feel like it just ended up being too much. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!